The Minnesota Twins won at Kansas City once again. Some nice two-out hitting here by Luis Arise earlier in the game, and then Max Kepler, uh, a little bit of a shift beater there. Good to see out of Max. And then Gary Sanchez plates him from first base. So some nice two-out hitting. The Twins scoring runs while keeping the ball in the yard. Uh, just kind of things clicking for them right now. It's looking good. Joe Ryan uh, really looked good tonight. Five and two-thirds innings, five hits, one run, two walks, six strikeouts. And now that his command was back, he was back to throwing a lot more of his secondaries, only 51% fastballs in this outing. Uh, so great to see them kind of uh, push and pull with that, how many fastballs he's throwing, uh, depending on how much command he has. Like, that's going to be important for him. Joe Smith, man, I just want to take a moment to tip the cap to this guy. <laughs> what, a, what a year he's been having so far for the Twins. He's only given up one unearned run in 16 outings for them this year. No earned runs. And, of course, as he saw in that graphic, he's also stranded all 12 runners he's inherited uh, this season now. He inherited one tonight and stranded him. Uh, this was the only hit he gave up. He recorded four outs in this game, gave up this bloop hit that Celestino just couldn't quite get. But yet another awesome outing for Joe Smith. What a big addition, especially with how much need this bullpen has had. The Twins are now 12-7 and seven in May and have won six of their last eight games. Moving on to St. Paul, Jake Cave hit this grand slam in the first inning, and that was all the offense that St. Paul needed. They won 4-2. to two. Derek Rodriguez had nine strikeouts in five innings pitch, gave up just one run. And Saints pitchers combined to strike out 13 batters, which meant Royce Lewis, you see there, playing left field, only had a couple balls hit his way, so many strikeouts. We have to go to the bottom of the ninth inning to find a ball hit out to Royce, and this one falls in. Uh, you know, nice effort by him. There's a good opportunity to kind of be communicating. And yet again, kind of sticking with that theme, the only out that he recorded was a great opportunity to get in some, you know, communicating there. That's going to be a big part of him playing some unfamiliar positions. Again, the Saints won that one. Moving down to double A, Matt Walner. Look at this catch. This is guy's six foot five, making that very athletic play. He drew three walks tonight as well. This guy's been on fire. He got off to an awful start, but Matt Walner has a 981 OPS in May. Really picking it up after that dreadful start. Look at that swing. That's like a softball swing <laughs> Andrew Bechtold had for this home run. His fifth of the season on a hanging breaking ball. He just, again, softball swings out of there. Wichita lost, unfortunately. Cedar Rapids also lost. There's just not a whole lot to say out of this one. Uh, but Will Holland did hit his third home run of the year. He played center field tonight. Fifth rounder back in 2019. He has a, not, not quite Walner-esque, but he has an 863 OPS in May. Moving on to Fort Myers, uh, they also lost this evening, unfortunately. Uh, but it was a big game, another big game for Mikey Perez, who's been really uh, putting up big numbers. He had a double and a home run, a, a three-run homer. And these 19-year-old kids to draw on three walks from Emmanuel Rodriguez and two walks from Noel Miller. Just wild to see these the plate discipline that these guys have had so far. And then speaking of 19-year-olds, Marco Rye was pitching. He gave up three runs on eight hits. In five innings, so he got knocked around a little bit, struck out three. You see that ERA is still 2.63 for him on the year, uh, off to a great start. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be talking again tomorrow, doing these pretty much every night. Uh, so if you like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you.